Thumbs up for me. What's up everybody, Roderick here with the Ariani LED RGB ring light. This ring light is gonna be great for you whether you wanna take photos, take videos, do makeup, you name it. Pretty much anything you need a light for, this is probably the way to go. Normally ring lights just have a variety of white lights from, you know, cool white, warm white, somewhere in the middle, some kind of mixture, but this one takes it further. It has different colors. So you can have a red light, a blue light, a green light, a yellow light, you name it, you could probably do it. So that way, no matter what you're doing, you can always get the vibe right just by changing the color. So let's take a look at what we got here. We're looking at 92 LED bulbs with 32 white, 32 warm yellow, and 28 RGB lights. We have different color lighting modes with RGB, white, warm yellow, warm yellow and white, and yellow and white. Sounds like we got some variety there. Color temperatures between three and 6,000 K, color rendering index of 90. I have no idea what that means. We have 10 yellow and white brightness levels and then two brightness levels for RGB colors. It's powered by a USB cable, which is great. Five and a half watts, 1.1 amps, a 68 inch USB cable, that's longer than I thought. And not much else to see on the outside, so let's see what we got inside. Oh, nice. Up top we have a little instruction guide, a warranty card just in case something went awry, and a bunch of goodies. First thing we have is a tripod for the ring light. Oh, not a bad tripod. A phone holder so you can hold your phone. Eh, it's not the best, but it gets the job done. Another tripod, did not see that coming, okay. And then we have the ring light, which looks really good. It's a bit smaller than I was thinking, but it seems like the perfect size for anything that you need to do. On the bottom, we do have a spot to attach the tripod. On the top, we have a hot shoe mount. On the back, we have a spot in case you wanna hang it on your wall. Moving down the six to eight inch cable, we do have the remote. We have a power button, up and down for the brightness of the light, a mode button, RGB on and off, and an RGB mode button. And of course, the USB-A cable at the bottom for power. All right, so when it comes to the tripod, it is a sturdy tripod made out of plastic and it actually extends. That's pretty cool. Look at that, we have five levels of extension. Locks into place, wow, okay. And you're good to go, really nice and sturdy. The feet do have rubberized grips to keep it in place on your table. And I'm just impressed that we got two tripods in here with the light, that's a good deal. Now the phone mount on the other hand, it's not the best quality, listen to this. It just feels cheap, but I mean, it'll get the job done. But personally, myself, I would upgrade to a little bit of a higher quality one. Now let's put this light on the tripod. Just like that, perfect. And then you can angle it how we need it. We have a 180 degree tilt along with 360 degree pivoting. All right, so we're gonna set this up right here. Gotta get this plugged in. This is a really nice ring light, I'm impressed. But let's see how it looks. So I got this thing plugged into some power. Let's see, well, let's face it toward you guys so you guys can check out all the colors first. So let's turn it on. All right, we got that white light. Turn it up as bright as it goes. All right, there's maximum brightness. Now let's turn it all the way down. And then that's minimum brightness. That's really light. Let's go all the way back up. And now we can cycle between the different colors. So we have white, then we have yellow. That's really yellow. And then we have, looks like half and half. So it looks like we got three different whites. We got cool white, warm white, or yellow and then, you know, a little bit of a mix of both. And then when it comes to colors, boom, here we go. Oh, that's actually awesome. I just discovered something pretty amazing, which I didn't think was a thing. You could turn on the white light along with the color lights in case you want some more brightness with just a little bit of color. That way it can lighten the color and get it to just the shade you want. So let's turn off the white light and just have the colors. Right now we have it cycling through all the different colors, which is awesome. And then we can switch between individual colors as well. We got red, we got pink I guess it looks still looks red we got what is that like yellowish lime green a lighter I guess it does a lighter version of each color then we got some dark green we got some light blue we got some dark blue we got some pink we got some white we got some light blue, and then we're back to the cycling colors. Awesome. And if we wanna change things up a bit, all we have to do is turn on the white light. We can also cycle through those. We can get yellow mixed with different colors. Wow, just look at that. That's pretty cool. Now we gotta put this thing to a real test. Hey Google, turn off the studio lights. Sure, turning the studio lights off. And now we just have the ring light. Let me face it toward me and whoa, that's bright. Okay, let's turn everything off. And now let's see how bright this light is. All right, we have that warm white light max brightness. We have the half and half white and yellow light. And now we have the cool white light at max brightness. Let's turn it down all the way to the minimum. All right, looks good. 
definitely gives me enough light right here, although it is still really dark, so this is like some little ambient light. But let's see, we wanna cycle through some color action. So right now we have all the colors just cycling through. This is probably the best way to demonstrate it, to be honest, because then you can see all the colors. Wow. How do I look? Which color do you think is my color? Let me know down below. And remember, when you have a solid color on, you have two brightness options. So let's try that out real quick. We have red, and then we have lighter red. So this is the light version, and then we're gonna go bright green, lime, yellowish. Then we have a lower brightness, bright green, lower brightness, light blue, lower brightness, dark blue, lower brightness, pink, lower brightness, white, lower brightness, pink. Wait, no, we're back in the cycling mode, right? Oh yeah, it's cycling through all right, and it looks awesome. I am definitely impressed with this ring light. Thumbs up for me. All right, you guys, all in all, definitely recommend this ring light, whether you wanna make videos, take photos, do makeup, whatever you need a light for, ring lights are a really good investment. One of the best investments really are so versatile. In my studio, I have ring lights, but they're all just white. They also can do like warm white, but this one actually has RGB colors, which is an awesome feature. Plus this thing is cheap, it's portable, comes with two tripods. <laughs> I definitely think this is a good purchase for anybody who needs a portable ring light just for, you know, whatever, just for life. If you want to pick up one of these, I'll throw the link down below in the description. Make sure you guys comment your thoughts down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're picking one up. Let me know what my color is. Right now I have it on some red with the bright white, so I don't even know if you can see the red, but I got the white on. And right now the ring light's the only thing on still, because it's that good. I like it. And it's really compact. Definitely a good purchase. Thumbs up, red subscribe button, social media, and I'll see you in the next one.